I'm Miriam Richardson reporting from inside the Amelie Arena where the NCAA Women's Final Four just took place. UConn played Maryland in the second of the semifinal games. UConn won this game handily, winning by a final score of 81 to 58. And this game was a great game for Mariah Jefferson, Brianna Stewart, and Morgan Tuck. Jefferson finished with 14 points. She had two rebounds, five assists. She was the energy maker for the team. She did everything the team needed her to do. Stewie finished with 25 points, eight rebounds, three assists, and four blocks, and two steals in 39 minutes of play. She essentially played the entire game, and she was phenomenal from start to finish. But the biggest star of the game for UConn was Morgan Tug. Morgan Tug had 24 points, nine rebounds, 38 minutes of play, and she was the offensive centerpiece for the UConn Huskies. She was essentially just in the post, making sure that the team handed her the ball and that she could do anything that the team needed her to do to win this game. After the game, we were able to talk to Morgan Tuck as well as Kalina Mosqueda Lewis, Brown Stewart, Amari Jefferson, and Kia Nurse as well. So let's go ahead and check that out. Kia, you had a rough game for the floor. You shot two for five, but you had that big three point in the first half. So what was it like playing in your first final four at UConn? I mean, it was fun. It was a good game. I didn't think I played that rough, but you know, shooting wise, yeah, maybe. Um, but I definitely think you know it was it was good. it was fun. It was fun to be out there. It was cool to be in this experience. You know, you see it on TV, but you actually get to be a part of it. So still a little surreal to me. Now talk about Stewie and Tuck and how they played in this game. I mean, Stewie and Tuck have a knack for playing big in big games, and you know they're a tough matchup already, but. You know, they're, they're just beasts down low and on the outside. So I definitely think, you know, it, it sends a message to people about having to guard them and how dangerous they can really be. Guarded. You know, I want the defense to be able to have, to have to play me honestly and, you know, think that I am an offensive threat. And I think that that's something that I'm trying to focus on because that also opens things up for, you know, Kalina, Stewie, and Mo. Stewie, how do you find the energy to essentially play in these big games when it seems to matter the most? Like, how, what motivates you? Uh, you know, there's there's not a lot that, that needs to be motivated. I mean, when you're playing in March and this is the Final Four, to go to the National Championship game, this is, you know, this is the opportunities you've been waiting for, and, you know, you just go out and play. Earlier in the season, one of the things that you said you wanted to see from the team as a whole was just to see how you guys gel together, how cohesive you are. Do you think the team is at a good place right now? Definitely. I think that, you know, our chemistry has, you know, been, been going on all cylinders, and the fact that, you know, once we've we started the the conference tournament, the NCAA tournament, it seems like things have just been going really smoothly, and you know that's what you want to see going into to Tuesday night. You had 100 assists on the season now with your assists early in the first half. So what does that mean to you to get to 100 assists on the season? Uh, you know, I think it's great. You know, to be able to have teammates that are able to, you know, anybody that I pass the ball to is able to put the ball in the basket. And uh, I think our team does a good job of utilizing each other and, and knowing, you know, everybody's strengths so we can get them in the right positions. You talk about putting the ball in the basket. How important is it as a teammate to see Stewie and Tuck play the way that they do? It's definitely important, especially right now. You want to see people playing at their best. And going into Tuesday, I think uh, coming off a game like this, even with Mariah uh, and Kia Stokes coming off the bench, uh, coming from a game like this uh, really gets you in, into the into the good rhythm. Now, it's Notre Dame. You played them already once this season. What do you need to do to adjust from this game to the game against Notre Dame? Uh, you know, it's going to take some regrouping, but Notre Dame's not going to be a team to roll over for us. They're going to continuously, you know, keep pushing the, trying to push the tempo at us and be aggressive and, and get physical with us. So we have to be ready for that. What's the one thing you personally need to work on going into Tuesday? Uh, definitely have to make sure I stay involved, whether it's a um, Offensively, getting rebounds, setting screens, uh, making shots, but just uh, staying involved throughout the whole game. They got to 100 assists, that gives you five with 100, something we you know talked about. But now, now that you're there, um, what does that mean? You know, for this team, what kind of accomplishment is that? I mean, what does it say about your team? It says a lot about our team. Uh, it shows how willing we are to pass the ball and to make that extra pass to get a good shot. Um, you have a lot of guys on this team that can score, so I think it makes it easy to get assists on this team. You played with Brianna Turner two years ago with the U19s, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how much you've watched of her. She didn't play in the first game against you guys. What have you seen from her game and her improvement uh, in the two years since you played with her? I think she's playing a lot harder. You know, you can't take a playoff once you get to college, and I think she's learned that. Uh, her post game has been a lot better. I've seen she's making those alley oop layups and things like that. So we have to make sure we keep a body on her and just try to be physical with her. How about the Tuck and Stewie tonight? Oh, they're incredible, just like every other game. Yeah. Uh, you know, Stewie's going to step up and have a big-time game. Tuck came in and killed it also, so I'm just proud of my teammates. 
So you hear what the players had to say. Let's look at some of the numbers behind this game. UConn shot 53.7% from the field, while holding Maryland to just under 41%. The biggest difference for UConn, though, was the free throw line. UConn went 15 to 18 for the line. And essentially, when you can get to the free throw line and make the free throws, your team can pretty much just coast to the win. All in all, it was a great effort for the UConn Huskies. They're now looking forward to the national championship game, which is against the rival Notre Dame. That game will be on Tuesday at 8.30, right back here at the Amelie Arena. Reporting from inside the arena, I'm William Richardson, and this is UC Sports.